Hey guys, just wanted to make this video in case anyone forgot to call the Nintendo Power Hotline last week when they brought it back for two days. When I say brought it back, it was really just a recording of three different counselors sharing a quick story of their time as a counselor, and then a very quick game tip for either Super Mario, Super Mario 3, Zelda, or Metroid thereafter. The Nintendo Power Hotline was Game Facts, pre-internet. If you were stuck in a game and Nintendo Power didn't cover it, you either had to play and play and play until you figured it out, or you called the hotline. I was never allowed to call because it was so expensive, at least to us, my mom used to say. I wanted to call so badly, so one day, I did sneak and call. I didn't get on the phone with him for too long before my mom was wondering who I was talking to and forced me to hang up when she found out. I'm not even sure what game it was. I think I was just curious to what it would be like to talk to the pros at Nintendo. And it was probably because of this guy right here. That's the Nintendo Pro Counselor from the movie The Wizard. I remember thinking this was the coolest thing ever, getting to know all the secrets in all the games from an actual Nintendo person. I'm sure this is what inspired me to go on to sneak and make my phone call. Anyways, I've recorded all the Nintendo Power Hotline call, so if you missed out, you still have a chance to put your nostalgia cap back on once more. Nintendo always finds a way to bring the kid back out of us, no matter what the age. So as you hear this recording, I encourage you to think back to the first time you played these games and listen to the tips as if it were the first time you were finding them out to help your inner kid come to life once again. Thank you for calling Nintendo's Power Line, which is back for one weekend only to celebrate the release of the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition system, now available in stores at a suggested retail price of only $59.99. From your first Goomba stomp to defeating Ganon and getting the Triforce, the original Nintendo Entertainment System played host to many of gaming's most memorable moments. And now, a new miniaturized version is here, preloaded with 30 of the all-time greatest NES games, including The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros. 3, and Metroid. Just plug it in and play. If your NES skills are a little rusty, don't worry. Some of the original gameplay counselors are here to share a few top tips and maybe even a story or two of their days on the original Gameplay Counselor Hotline. To hear a gameplay tip for The Legend of Zelda, press 1. Hi, I'm Pat Wells. During my days as a Gameplay Counselor, I sometimes help players beat a game from beginning to end. Most often it was The Legend of Zelda, which was a tricky game to get to back before you could look up answers on the internet. A player would call after getting stuck in a dungeon. They call back an hour later asking for help on the next dungeon, and then the next. By the end of the day, they might have called me a dozen times. But it was always rewarding when you help someone navigate a difficult dungeon, find a missing item, or beat that tough boss. We were gameplay counselors, and our job was to turn players' frustrations into victory. Sometimes the callers were so young, they didn't even know their left from their right. You tell them to go two screens to the right, and they say, Is that towards my kitchen, or is that towards my living room? But that would always make me smile. Speaking of The Legend of Zelda, did you know beating the game unlocks a second quest with new dungeons and new hiding places for everything? If you'd like to start the second quest right away without beating the main quest first, just start a new game and register your name as Zelda. The second quest is a lot tougher, so good luck. Hi, I'm Melvin Force. I got my job as a gameplay counselor in 1990 after participating in Nintendo's Power Fest. I lost the tournament, but still got the job. Since I would answer hundreds of calls a day, I tried to make them as fun as possible for both the players and myself. I especially enjoyed it when someone would be so excited to speak to me that they'd forget the game that they were playing and where they were stuck. Since I could usually hear their game in the background, I'd tell them what it was and they would freak out that I knew. I could also guess where they were stuck most of the time because I'd just taken lots of calls from other people with the same problem. So while it may have sometimes seemed like we gameplay counselors could read minds, we couldn't. Or could we? Let me give this a shot. You're looking for Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers 3 tips, aren't you? Here are a couple of good ones. In Super Mario Brothers, after you've lost all your lives and returned to the title screen, hold A and press start. You'll continue at the beginning of the world you ended on. For Super Mario Brothers 3, look for white blocks. If you stand on one and press down for about five seconds, Mario will fall through it and go behind the scenery for a short time. If you do this on World 1-3, you'll find a warp whistle that will let you skip Worlds 2-3-4-4. Four, four. Hi, I'm Mark Doyle. I started as a game counselor in 1990. 
the same year that one of my favorite NES came out, Star Tropics. Well, it used to be one of my favorites. You see, back in the day, people rented a lot of games, and if you rented Star Tropics, chances were you didn't get the physical letter that came packaged with it. The letter not only set up the plot, but at a certain point in the game, you were told to dip the letter in water to reveal a secret code that's needed to continue. It worked like magic, but if you didn't have the letter, you were stuck. I took so many calls about this that after a while, when someone said, I'm playing Star Tropics, I'd sometimes say 747 before they could even finish. They would laugh and say, no way, how did you know that? Now, there's no letter included with the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition system, but I have it on good authority that the 747 code can be found in the Quick Start Guide. Now, I owe you a tip for Metroid. To play as Samus without her armor, go to the password screen and enter Dustin Bailey. J-U-S-T-I-N-B-A-I-L-E-Y. All caps, followed by 12 bases. This will also put you far into the game with lots of power-ups. Have fun! Thank you for calling Nintendo's Power Line. Don't forget to check out the Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition, available now at a suggested retail price of $59.99. For more information, visit Nintendo.com.